these freak parties on these islands and uh, have all these guys fly in, scientists, yeah. celebrities, and bang 15-year-olds yeah. and film it and yeah. hold it against them. That was the that was the word. Right? So here's the you, thing. But if yeah. you saw a movie, yeah. you'd be like, "Come on, Bill Clinton's not gonna fly yeah. twenty times to a fucking island." That's what makes He's no got sense, dude. He's got girls he can call. He must. Yeah. If he needs it that bad, is he really gonna fly, fly to his fucking island? But if this guy was intelligence and he let them think that they're safe, don't worry. No one's gonna say a fucking word. Everyone's on board. Hmm. This is fine. You can let you freak out on this island. Hmm. This is like the real Vegas. What happens on Fuck Island stays on Fuck Island. This is the real deal. Like, you could... That's what they want. Look, do you know how many of those guys in the 60s and the 70s, politicians back then, just did openly, openly had affairs, right? Like Kennedy, yeah. openly. Everyone yeah. knew it. The press all knew it. Yeah, yeah. How many guys were doing that? How many mayors are doing that? I bet a lot of them. I bet that's why they became a doc, uh, a mayor or a, a, a fucking president in the first place. A lot of them wanted power. A lot of them are like, these politicians are like ugly actors. They want to be an actor, <laughs> but they're, they're not good looking enough, so they just pretend right. to be righteous. And they pretend to be, you know, the guy who's going to solve the mess. The guy who's going to solve the problem. And in the meantime, they're hobnobbing with industry and big bankers and celebrities are coming to their yeah. inauguration. And yeah. it's a, a big, there's a big influence party Here it going is. On. Someone explain this to me. Whoa, is that just Lane? Is that Someone her name? How do, you say, how do you say her name? Ghislaine. Ghislaine. I thought it was just Lane. So Ghislaine. So that her, how is that she looks free? like a lizard? So she's the lizard, but look who's front and fucking center, dude. What is going on? Look at all the heads. Well, that's a creepy-ass picture. Right, Who, and where is Epstein? Who's just that take guy a guess. with the blue shirt with the sandwich in his hand? I don't know. Who's that guy? I don't know. Is that John Podesta? Who's Kevin Spacey. <laughs> I don't know. Look at... To the right, this though. Might be him up here, no, That's he's in not. the fucking UFO, dude. Top oh, right. You're man. telling me the the criminal mastermind of all this is is the the fucking supporting act? Like you're in the top right. Just Lane or Gillen? Why is she Gilen? front and center, dog? And why does she have a body of a lizard? Mm. Like how know. weird is that? She's got some creepy lizard body. I don't know. See, this is my point. Like if you if you put this in a movie before all this shit had happened, before you'd never believe it. It would never believe it. I'd be like, no one's that fucking manipulative. They can get all these politicians to just fly to some island and film them having sex with underage people. And if they did, they'd get caught. Someone would rat it out. And then, well, they caught him and they brought him to jail. And oh, he just died. He hung himself. Like what? Oh, well, where's the security cameras? Well, the security cameras weren't working. It's off. <laughs> it's off, dude. And then no one's talking about it. Bro. It just We just get swept away with the news cycle. Dude, new stuff, new this things. Is, this is the, the craziest thing about the Epstein thing. Is like, they literally took El Chapo, right, and put him in that jail. Because they're like, nah, something will happen to El Chapo in Mexican jail. Right. So they're like, we got to put him in a jail where something will definitely not happen. Super top secret security clearance. The best jail. The best. The best possible yeah. jail. Yeah, and then yeah, this yeah. guy just randomly... Just hangs Adios. himself. Yeah. And the security cameras weren't working. Whoops. <sighs> no big deal. Meanwhile, that Michael Batten guy, the autopsy doctor from uh, HBO, that autopsy series, this is a guy who's worked on a bunch of high profile cases. He did the uh, George Floyd case. Yeah. He said the yep. guy was murdered. He said yep. the Exfixiation. injuries. Yep. Well, the, I mean, the injuries of, no, the Epstein injuries were indicative of being strangled uh, uh. because the bones in his neck were I snapped. I was talking about Floyd, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We did that as well. Yep. Um, more doctors have done that as well with Floyd now, mm. with George Floyd. More doctors have said it. it's clear. You just watch it. Yeah. You can't, you can't Im imagine a world where that's not homicide. It's but so fucked up. The Epstein thing, it was too low on his neck. It wasn't indicative of someone who was strangled. Mm. It was indicative of, or it wasn't indicative of someone who hung themselves. Yeah. It was indicative of someone who was strangled. It was low on the neck, like the guy's behind him pulling his fucking neck with a wire or, or, or a rope or some shit. Question for you. Do you think they tell them, yo, we got the underage shorties on the island come through? Or do you think they say, everyone here is all overage, don't worry about it, everything's good. Then they got it videotaped, and they're like, by the way, they're all underage. I think that's more the case. I think, if I had to guess, the most nefarious version of it, I yep. doubt is people sitting around going, hey, do you want to bang underage girls? Mm -hmm. I think they probably say, hey, we have 
we're going to have this party. It's on an island. No one's going to be there but us. It's fantastic. It's top, top shelf accommodations. We have girls there. They're lovely. Maybe they don't even tell them they have girls there. I guess they, they probably tell them they have girls. That's how they get them there. <laughs> hey, you want to pro out? Hey, you want to pro out on the island, bro? You guys want to go fishing? Hey, come on, bro. We have some jet skis, dude. It's going to be sick. coconut milk. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and I think once they get them there, they get them drinking. I and bet then they once they're partying. drinking, it's I bet it's they a start partying. There's the island, man, right? Yeah. So I think they start partying, and then the girls were probably either paid to or trained to be friendly to them. And, uh, I mean, the men are probably disgusting. And you got a guy like Clinton. I mean, that guy... I mean, he would fuck a warm jar of peanut butter. He's an animal. <laughs> you know? I mean, he's an animal, right? This is how, I mean, this that's is how just twisted is. my fucking brain is. This is what happens when you're a comic and you're just trying to think about the different angle all day. When you said fuck a j warm jar of peanut butter, I'm like, what would be the best condiment to fuck? Peanut butter. Would it be peanut butter? <laughs> or would it be jam? You would need something thick and something easy not resistance. Gonna get <laughs> You know what you'd want? You'd want organic peanut butter because you got to stir is, it. This is why you got to open up the comedy clubs, bro. Because otherwise we would talk about fucking peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just open them up. But Clinton has always been known to be a wild man. Yeah. He fucks everything. He tries to fuck girls and they, they yell and they scream and they run away. Yeah. He's got women that have said he raped them. I mean, yeah. he's a fucking animal. Yeah. I would imagine you get that guy alone on an island. Uh -huh. Get a couple of drinks. In it's them, going down, and then, and then uh, Epstein is connected to these people who assure you, "Don't worry, everything's covered." This is how we do it. Like, look, the world's too. There's too much scrutiny out there. Okay, Bill, you got to be yourself. Okay. So here's my question: This wasn't always scrutinized, right? You got songs, fucking Rolling Stones. Don't they have a song talking about banging some 15 year old girl or something like that? I believe there's a song, right? Look it up, Rolling Stone. Uh, bang. They, you have you have t songs about people well, talking. Kiss had a song called Christine Sixteen. Dude, every movie in the eighties. She's only seventeen. Seventeen. Remember that? I'm just saying, it, every movie in the eighties, there were like high school seniors, and then like where are the freshmen at. Yes. Right, they're fourteen year olds. Granted, you're all in high school, but you still maybe would have college kids like for with that. Okay, mm. so. There was a time where it was probably okay, right, to sleep with younger women, right? I'm not talking about the 11 and 12. I'm talking about teenage women. It was probably right. okay. Okay. At that time, how did they compromise people? Because if we really want to know who's behind this, just figure out what they were doing before the pedophile stuff. Cause yeah, but they controlled the press. Like, before that, no one could say anything about so it. So you're saying they didn't anything. need to compromise back yeah. in the day, and then they, they were like, well, fuck, we need to find a way to compromise. Little kids. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. I feel like you always had to compromise. You always had to have something on someone. Like, you don't think